What's up, my future addiction overcomers? Are you listening, guys? And on this episode of Addiction Tips, you better just tune in, baby. You better tune in to this one. What's up, my future addiction overcomers? Are you listening, guys? I know it's been a while, guys, but you see the title. I'm gonna get right into this story, and then I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna wrap it. I'm gonna wrap it up, and I'm gonna get you guys out of here this time. All right, guys, repeat this, guys. I never forget. I never forget a long time ago, and I forgot how long this was to be exact. But it was really a long time ago. It was a few years, maybe. Well, not no, no, it wasn't. Maybe it was like a year and a half. I don't know, but that, it really doesn't matter. But repeat this, guys. I never forget it was one it was in Michigan. Yeah, it was probably some years back. But you know, in Michigan, a couple years back, we had one of the worst winters ever. Like it, this was this winter was so bad. Every single day was like negative 10 degrees and the wind was blowing real hard every single day. Like this winter was just awful. And this was like maybe it was like a year and a half or two years ago, some some sometime around that time. But this was literally the worst winter ever, right? And because the winter was so bad, because the winter was so was so bad, you know, every single night when I go to sleep, I, my throat would get sore, right? And I really didn't have a solution for it, right? I did, I didn't really didn't know what to do at the time, and I was ignorant, you know. So I, I you know, I, I really didn't know what to do at the time. So because my throat kept getting sore, I said, all right, no, yeah, because my throat kept getting sore, I said, all right, I think I know what to do. Because when I was at school and my throat was sore, what I would do is that I would chew uh, some gum that had peppermint or fluoride in it, right? Winter fresh or any gum that had that peppermint taste, you know, it kind of helps with a sore throat a little bit because that fluoride or whatever, it's, or that peppermint, it really helps you a little bit, right? So I said, okay, instead of, I'm not going to have a sore throat this night, right? I'm going, I'm, when I go to sleep, I'm going to keep some gum in my mouth. And peep this, guys. That's exactly what I did. I went to sleep, like I was chewing the gum, and, and I and I went to sleep. And guess what? I fell asleep with that gum in my mouth. And I woke up the next morning. Guess what, guys? I felt great. I re- I didn't have a sore throat at all. I was like, yes, sir. I was like, that's what I'm talking about. I'm like, Let, let's go, baby. So you know, the next night I did the same thing, and the next night I did the same thing, and the next night I did the same thing. Kept falling asleep with peppermint gum in my mouth, right? And peep this, guys. A few months later, are you listening? A few months later, I end up going to the orthodontist to get a dentist cleaning. Or not even orthodontist. I went to the dentist to get a, uh, just a teeth cleaning. You know, and after they do, you know, because, you know, they do all the, you know, they before they clean your teeth, they got to, you know, they got to, you got to chew that nasty, uh, they got to get a sample of your teeth. I forgot what they call it. I don't know if it's an x-ray, but they get that. They, they, they put that nasty stuff in your teeth and you got to bite down on it so they can get the shape of your teeth and look at it and do all that. So they did all that and then the dentist came and he looked at my teeth and everything. And comes to find out that after after they examined my teeth and did all those silly things, I, I ended up having 13 or 14 cavities and like 10 small cavities. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Why is that so crazy? Because prior to that day or prior to that uh, checkup, I didn't have not one cavity. Are you listening? I was a guy, you know, my, you know, I had the you know, dentist said that I had strong teeth. So I never gotten cavities, right? But after this, you know, this last checkup, I end up with like 10 or 12 cavities. Majority of them are small. And I'm like, what in the world did this come from? You know what it came from, guys? It came from when me sleeping with that gum in my mouth, right? When me sleeping with that gum in my mouth, even though I knew it was bad for me, I did it anyway. So when the dentist told me that I had that many cavities in my mouth, that when they told me that, it taught me a very valuable lesson about life. It taught me a very valuable principle about life. And peep this, guys, because guess what? It felt good when I slept with that gum in my mouth. It felt good when I slept with with that peppermint gum in my mouth and it prevented me from having having a sore throat. Guys, are you listening? It felt great because I got so tired of having a sore throat. I don't know if you ever had a sore throat before, but a sore throat isn't something pleasant to have, right? And every single night, the winter was so, that winter was so bad that every single night, my, you know, my throat was starting to hurt. It was crazy, guys. But peep this, guys, it felt great sleeping with gum in my mouth because I wake up without a sore throat. But we don't want, you want to know one thing that that whole thing taught me? It taught me that everything, that in life, that everything that feels good, 
ain't good for you. Let me say that again because I don't think you got that one. Everything that feels good ain't good for you. Are you listening? You guys, it feels good to... to to, it feels good after you consume the drug, after you consume the weed, or after you consume the alcohol, or after you consume the cocaine, or after you consume the crack. Consume the crack. It feels great when you finally get that high, that buzz. It feels awesome. It feels great. Are you listening? It feels great. When I was smoking weed, the feel, when, once I finally got high, the feeling felt great, guys. Guys, if you don't know my story, I was addicted to weed for three, for three years. You know, and I finally stopped smoking, guys. But peep this, guys. I didn't do it by just stopping. You know, I dealt with the root of my problem. When You know, the problem with me was that I was very insecure growing up. And because I was very insecure, you know, it, it, it always left me stressed out. People used to talk about me. Like I said before, I said it a million times. I had a peanut head. I was short, right? <laughs> I was short, had a peanut head. So everybody used to call, talk about me. And peep this. I used to go home. You know, just sad and, and depressed and stressed out because it wasn't the, the problem wasn't the the problem was not the people that was talking about me. The problem was is that I thought that you know everything that they were saying, oh he's short, or oh, he has a peanut head. I th- I, th- I looked at what they were saying as, as it as if it was a negative thing. Are you listening? I. I looked at when when people kept talking about me, I, I treated it like it was something negative, right? Like, oh, it's bad to be short, right? Or, or it's bad to have a weird shaped head. If you look at everybody, everybody got a weird shaped head. If you really look at it, like, what's a per like? I <laughs> like I've never really met a somebody with a perfect head. It's not a lot of people that have perfect heads, right? <laughs> right? But you know, but the problem was that I wasn't satisfied with the body that God gave me, right? I wasn't, you know, be, I wasn't satisfied because everybody kept talking about it, right? And I got into that cycle of, you know, of living for other people, right? You know, you know, my day was predicated on whether people were talking about me that day or not, right? And that's just not how you want to live life, guys. I was very, very, very insecure to the point where I almost committed suicide, guys. And I talked about that a lot. I talked about that, right? I almost committed suicide. That's how insecure I was, right? So once I finally dealt with that insecurity, and people, this guys, even after the after I almost committed suicide, I still didn't deal with the insecurity, right? You know, I still lived life, and I still kept getting talked about. I still kept being stressed out, and that's how the addiction crept in because I was still stressed out. Even though I almost committed suicide at that moment, I was still stressed out, right? I was, I was still stressed out, right? I, I, I was still depressed, right? But I kept it inside. I never really showed it. So I needed something to help me cope with that. Right? I needed something to help me take my mind off of it. I needed something to ease my pain. And I started smoking weed. Right? And I started smoking and I started smoking. And the reason one of the one of the reasons why I stopped is because I realized the fact that, you know, when you smoke weed or when you drink alcohol, you know, when you finally get that buzz feeling from alcohol or when you finally get that high from weed, the feeling is temporary. Are you listening? The feeling is not permanent. It's temporary, right? Like if you get high, if you, you can smoke it like a, you can smoke 30 blunts a day. You could smoke 30 blunts in one day, right? But the but the feeling is only going to last for a day or it might it may even carry on to the next day. But eventually the feeling is going to blow off. Same thing with alcohol. You can you can drink your you can drink everything. You can just guzzle alcohol like it's water. You can guzzle it, pass out, be drunk. But the feeling is going to go away in a day or a day and a half. The feeling goes away. The feeling is temporary. It's not permanent. So when you're feeling stressed out again, when you're feeling hurt again, guess what you have to turn to? Guess what you have to turn to? You have to go right back to the weed. You have to go right back to the alcohol. You have to go right back to the codeine. I mean, to the crack. You have to, you have to keep going back to it. You have to keep going back to it. You have to keep going back to it because it's temporary. And you haven't, and the reason why you keep going back is because you haven't dealt with the root of the problem, which is the stress, which is the, which is dealing with the reason why you're stressed out, dealing with why you're consuming the substance in the first place, right? That's the problem, guys. That's the problem. And a lot of us, you know, we look at it because, oh, you know, you know, we, we feel that we can't give it up because it feels good. It feels great being high, guys. I've been high before. I'm not going to sit up here and lie, you, lie to you and tell you that it feels awful. It feels great. I know. 
You know, being high, that feeling, it feels awesome. You know, being drunk, the feeling, it feels awesome, guys. But peep this, I just got tired of getting scammed of my happiness because the feeling was temporary. It was a Band-Aid. It didn't last long. Are you listening? They just patched it up like a like, like some of these construction workers do streets when it comes to the, you know, when it comes to the, the, to the, the, the bad neighborhoods. Like, they don't even care about the streets. They'll just, you know, when they see a whole bunch of potholes, they'll put the cement in any type of way. And the street all lopsided and stuff. They, you know, it's not even, right? It's not even. They just patch it up. They do a bad job with it, right? So, so the street is still just bouncing, and every like the street is just all is is it looks awful, right? Are you listening? They just patch it up. I got tired of patching up my problems. I got tired of putting a Band-Aid on my problems. I said, you know what, Terrell? In order for you to have a better life, in order for you to find your passion, in order, in order for you to find your destiny, you got to stop patching up your problems and you got to start handling your problems. You got to start dealing with the root of your problems. You got to get, get rid of the root of your problems because the root of your problems is what's causing you to consume it in the first place. And a lot of you guys, you're so caught up on the feeling. You're so caught up on the feeling of the weed. You're so caught up on the feeling of the alcohol you're so caught up in the feeling of the substance or whatever you're consuming you're so caught up on the feeling that you haven't you're so caught up on the feeling that you haven't asked yourself is it good for you yes it feels great but is it good for you just like me when, when i was consuming the gum right when i when i was sleeping with the gum it felt good sleeping with gum and not having a sore throat but was it good for me guys no because in the long run i ended up with like 12 13 cavities 12 13 cavities because i was doing what felt good at the moment how many, of you, how many of you guys' life will change if you stop doing what feels good at the moment? No, oh, let, me, let me let that sink in. I, I want you to think about that. How many of you guys' life will change if you stop doing what felt good at the moment? <laughs> I really want you to think about that one, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in to another Addiction Tip video. Uh, you know, I had to end it now because I was going, you know, it was going to be some more. Like, yeah, I was going to go for another 50, another 50, maybe even an hour. And uh, <laughs> if I go for an hour, y'all not going to watch the full video, guys. So, you know, thank you guys for tuning in to another Addiction Tip video. If you like what you saw, please like the video. Please share the video. Please comment on the video. Most importantly, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Remember that life is all about growth. And you guys are a future addiction. You guys are future addiction overcomers. And now it's time to take action and act like it. I love you guys. Stop doing what feels good and start asking yourself every time you get put in position and make a choice. Start asking yourself, even though even though it feels good, is it good for you? Thank you guys for tuning in to another Addiction Tip video. I love you guys. Have a good day.